we are here doing training today on the new Monica Nobi monitor. This is a new technology. It's ECG, so it monitors uterine activity, maternal ECG, and fetal ECG. So it's a, another tool that we can use to monitor patients. It's an external monitor, but it's giving us the accuracy of internal monitors. The huge thing that we have to think about is when you have patients that are in labor about trying to keep track of baby's heart rate all the time to make sure that baby's tolerating labor. Well, with this system, when we have patients that have an increased BMI or even patients that want to have the ability to walk around the room without cords attached, the system allows them to do that. So the way that the system's designed is it picks up the baby's EKG, basically. Um, so it picks up the wave pattern of the heart rate. And so no matter where you position the patient in the bed or if they're walking around, you're being able to pick up that baby's heart rate. So it's based off the belly button of the patient and it's a patch that sticks on and then there's a little pod that hooks into it and it'll monitor mom's heart rate and babies at the same time. It's very beneficial for high BMI patients because adipose tissue is a conductor for ECG so it helps us a lot with higher BMI patients that are difficult to monitor with ultrasound. Um, so that's one of the benefits. But also patients that maybe just were difficult to monitor in with FSE or with ultrasound, it's just another option that we have to monitor patients now. It gives them mobility, they can get up and move around the room, it's wireless, it's Bluetooth technology, um, it's waterproof so they can get in the shower if they want to get in the shower. It's giving us a lot of benefits that we don't have when we're tied to the bed with ultrasound and TOCO. It's giving us uh, the fetal ECG, so it is giving us a more accurate picture of what's happening in utero than what ultrasound is. It's a new technology. We've used the same technology in labor and delivery to monitor patients for roughly 40 years. So this is pretty exciting for labor and delivery. This is a very um, new, accurate um, technology that is really giving us more options in labor and delivery. Hopefully we'll cut back C-section rates. Um, it allows the patient to get up and move around, which is what we really need when we're laboring. Um, it helps with descent. It gives the patient more freedom, basically. You know, they can get up and go to the bathroom if they need to without having to unplug and let the patient, let the nurse know. Um, we're still getting a good, accurate picture of the baby. So it's beneficial all around, really.